हेलो एवरीवन आई एम मोहम्मद अली एंड आई एम फोटो मैथ एक्सपर्ट इन ऑल फाइव फील्ड्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल गाइड यू दैट हाउ यू कैन पास फोटो मैथ क्वालिफिकेशन सिक्वेंस एंड बिकम अ फोटो मैथ एक्सपर्ट सो द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू गेट फेमिलियर विद फोटो मैथ फोर सी रिक्वायरमेंट्स विच आर करेक्ट क्लियर कंप्लीट एंड कॉपी These four C's requirements are bare minimum qualities of a solution to be accepted at PhotoMath workplace. The first requirement is correct. Correct means that whole PM solution should be mathematically correct. That includes correct calculation and reasoning, correct use of graphs and math concepts. Clear means that each part of the solving procedure has to be explained in an understandable way. and complete means that answer all the parts of the asked question completely and do not left any part of the question unanswered and copyright means that do not copy any content from any internet source or even from the task modify the task content before using it to become a photo math expert you have to pass three steps these steps include math proficiency training structure and final test So the first stage is math proficiency. This stage consists of two categories: bundle and individual field. As there are five fields: algebra, calculus, geometry, statistic, and elementary field. So now come back to the qualification process. Bundles are good option. So let's try calculus bundle. In this bundle, there are twelve questions. You have to answer these twelve questions in two hours. after passing calculus bundle you can check that three fields get passed after the math proficiency next stage is solving task this stage consists of two sections the first section is solution requirement which comprises of four c's correct clear complete and copyright and second section is solution recommendations which comprises of five parts coloring visual content and visual sequence input description output form math sequence and precision now let's check out the first solution requirement which is correct on this page there is a link of youtube video which describes you about the correct requirement in each part there is small quiz you have to pass this quiz the quiz consists of 3 mcqs In this way you have to pass this quiz in each part to get qualified. The second section is solution recommendations. First recommendation is coloring. Let's write something Now let's check the preview. Observe the color coordination which shows the change from input to output. There are only 3 colors allowed in PhotoMath which are blue green and orange next section is about visual content and visual sequence actually visual content is very useful for the students to learn and understand math concepts visually you can create the visual content either using geogebra or figma we will discuss this in later part of the video creating visual content is time consuming but the photo math will pay in the form of visual content bonus to compensate your efforts visual content is created using allowed colors Next part is input description output form or simply IDO. The IDO form is very useful when PM solver does not give the required calculation then you have to solve it manually using IDO form. This step is written in input description output form. Both the input and output are written in block latex while description describe the change from input to output. Next section is math sequence. you can create the math sequence from this option
नेक्स्ट सेक्शन इज प्रिसन प्रिसन मीन्स यूज करेक्ट टर्मिनोलॉजीज वेन रेफरिंग मैथ कॉन्सेप्ट now move to the next section which is using the tools there are two categories one is essential and the other is extra tools the first essential tool is the understanding of solving interface this is the solving interface when you become a photomath expert then you write the solution here you can add colors table hints visual sequence and math sequence etc using solving interface next is latex latex means write all the math objects in latex next section is pm solver pm solver is photomath on calculator this is very useful you can solve equations find the derivative integral intercepts asymptotes and many more next section is hints hints are very useful which cover many definitions formulae and math concepts it is much easier to refer math concepts instead of writing it yourself next section train you that how to make tables here i am going to create the truth table of and logic Next two sections cover GeoGebra training part. GeoGebra is a online graphing calculator. If you do not use the GeoGebra before, don't worry. Solve training will teach you that how to use GeoGebra app. Basically, GeoGebra is online graphing calculator from which you can make graphs, draw polygons, angles, rays, lines, segments, vectors. So here are the different types of plots which are created by me for different types of tasks. You can export these graphs in different formats such as .ggb or .png. Remember one thing that file size of visual content should be less than 100 KB. If your file size is greater than 100 KB then reduce the size using any online or offline image compression software. And the last step is final test and you have 6 attempts to pass this test. There are 8 questions in final test and you have 6 correct to pass. Thanks for watching. Best of luck for photomath journey.